All right, welcome to welcome to SCP Containment Breach, Encyclopedia of Common Diseases. Disasses. <laughs> That's creepy. On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one-month working period in one of our top secret research facilities. Unfortunately, the exact details of your upcoming work assignments. Hey, they've got some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Oh, and by the way, Shouldn't have done this on the highest difficulty. So, um, hardest difficulty? Let's not do that. Because I couldn't see a single thing. Oh boy. That explains why I couldn't save at all. Big poop butt. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Keep your eyes on it. Well, at least I can save. Okay. We're not gonna look at it, we're just... Gonna... Try... Okay, we got, we got one door open. Um... It's, it's dark, is there? Oh, that's better. Now I can actually see. At least a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Attention. All personnel report to immediately. Oh, oh. That's unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll go this way. Who's, who's knocking? You heard that too, right? Take the gas mask. Um, yeah, empty my inventory. Ow. It's just a regular gas mask. Okay, because there's an SCP that's a gas mask, and if you put it on, it takes it like over or something. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna join you. You are? Yeah. Heck yeah! Oh, okay. You tried recording FNAF, and we're we're siblings, and um, I made a joke 
and she made a joke that I didn't take as a joke and we got into a fight and I feel bad about it. <laughs> I was hitting the A button, not the S button. That's okay. I can load my game. We didn't get anything. We didn't get anything. Well, except for the level one security card. It's not like it won't be in the same place. Attention. All personnel report to... Oh, fudge. I forgot that that lady died because, uh... The zap. Yeah. It does. I'm surprised you're not using your 4G. No, I was. Okay, I came from here. I went that way. We're gonna go this way. Light testing chamber 2D. I love how the door is really Yeah, I was like, well, um, no. This is why I think it's good to, like... I know that in one of these places, the shy guy comes up and it looks somewhat like this, and you don't want to look at him if you want to show up. Like, at all. I just wish we could actually... I realize that SCP-172 um, and the shy guy are, like... Absolutely complete opposites. Whereas SCP-172, you have to look at it, otherwise you'll die. SCP, or SCP the Shy Guy, which is the number I can never remember. You cannot look at it if you want to survive, or else you will die. Both, no questions asked. You know what's funny? In the recent years for the SCP Foundation, SCP-172 has been named a multiplier. Oh. Yes. Creepy. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's been multiple cases of each one. It's like each one multiplies worse. Uh, let's see. Oh, got a radio? Yes. Notes for which SCP? Oh, that's just notes. Yeah. But I'm gonna three, get... 372. I'm curious about that one. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look that up. Give us something nice to listen to while we're terrified. Um, SCP-372 is a creature from the Matrix, approximately two meters long and head to tail. And weighing approximately 45 kilograms, it is long and bodied and appears in the lower second part of the body as a normally flexible and strange creature with small fibers that cling to any solid surface. In place of eyes or ears, it has a yellow sense for the which is capable of not only being visually but also detecting energy. Such as electrical impulses in the brain's nearby beings. SCP-372 has learned in time to 
Neat. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a face only a mother could love. You'll have to send me the link so I can put it in the description. I'm not gonna remember that. Literally, it's like just look up SCP Foundation. First link is the Yeah, I know. I'm saying I won't remember which SCP it is. The charger is right behind us. Like, he's like, hello. Is anybody else there? That's what I'm saying. Achievement unlocked. Stay paranoid. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. Stay vigilant. I'm not worried about achievements, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Um, it's known as, it's also known as the peripheral dream. It literally stays just in the corner of your eye. What is that? There we go. higher than that. Um, I'm gonna leave that guy. What's that? Twelve. <gasps> oh, that's the oh. Um. You don't really want to go in there. Anymore. It is a piece, it's a writing sheet of music that the minute that you try to get anywhere near, it will compel you to write on it. And if you use the pen to write on it, you will... Even if you run out of ink, you'll start to use your own blood, but then you will kill yourself claiming that the piece couldn't be finished. Hello, Billy. How are you today? Haha, -ha. I am blinking and not keeping eye contact. What the fuck was that? God damn it. That's a level two. This is level one, so I don't need a level one now. Because I got a level two. So now. Um, Billy, you can stay there. Oh. Oh no, there was something on top of it. It's a map. Here. Billy, why? <laughs> Bruh. You get that? 
fucking key card all over again. You should Billy. save the one. I was trying to save. I literally went to go save. Now I'm upset. Yeah, no, he dropped the guy. Oh, why did you close? Open! So I'm not gonna lie, the old man has a pocket dimension of his uh, own, where it's where people who have survived unlock archivists. <gasps> that bastard! That guy? Yes, that's the one we were talking about that I was curious about. He's the teddy bear that I was telling you about. That's like okay. This is an elevator. We're not gonna take it. We're going to walk through here. No, but the old man has his own pocket dimension. Billy! You didn't even tell me you were here. We were gonna have a spot of tea. And we are running out in 20 minutes, 